Mincer's Canyon Cove utilizes an organ trio format that features Bob on saxophones, Larry Goldings on organ, and Peter Erskine on drums. There's a certain transparency and spaciousness to playing with three people that I like very much. Typically there is a guitar player involved, but it just didn't occur to me. I just thought to get a great organ player and a great drummer and myself would be really challenging and fun to do. Something I, I don't get the opportunity to do a lot, but it's a sound and it's a challenge that I that I uh, that I that I enjoy. It's really fresh sounding. It's really more open sounding than I expected. Be stop time to stop time. You know, oh, yeah, so maybe yeah. that's. No, no, let's just leave it. Okay. There's a, a purity ab about the project. <laughs> I love the challenge of implying the harmony in the line, and um, I think Bob's, in, you know, this is a first for Bob, I think, too, and uh, he's finding just texturally, it's like getting him to play differently, and, and um, it's really fun. Jazz music, to my way of thinking, is exactly that very scenario where you walk in and you play. And you, what you play is based, of course, on what sort of vocabulary you may have that is influenced by where you live, what you've listened to, who you've played with, what you've worked on as a musician. But in great part, what you play is determined by what you're hearing the others play and how you might interject musical ideas that contribute to a whole. It, it, you want a swing inflection? Yeah, I think so. I think throughout. You know. uh, Bob Mincer is my uh, musical hero. He's a great example of what's possible by having, well, he has a tremendous amount of talent, but he also works really hard. It's always got that sense of tradition uh, uh, where there's a very singable melody but with his harmonic concept uh, under it and um, I love that about Bob's music. The first thing that comes to mind uh, when I think about Bob's playing is he's not afraid of playing a melody and he's not afraid of a beautiful sound on the instrument. Um, he gets a beautiful tone on the tenor and uh, and he has a gift for uh, improvised melody as well as written melody. Um, so he's as prolific of a composer as he is a player. Bob is uh, certainly uh, one of the most important voices on the, on the tenor saxophone, but, but also as a writer and as a big band leader. Uh, he really helped shape the sound of our times, I think.